بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي رب يسر ولا تؤسر وتم بالخير عين النائب عن المصدر فيما يأتي Now we have to specify the deputies of the master and basically the master being used as a deputy or the, the, the master that has deputies that we have learned so far, like it has eight, we can say nouns that work as the deputies of the master. So we have to specify them now. Fil hadithi in the hadith, إِذَا قُمْتَ فِي الصَّلَاتِكَ فَصَلِّي صَلَاتَ مَوَدِّعِنْ if you stand for a prayer, pray as if this is your last prayer or pray like the one who prays as a farewell prayer. So now we can see here that Salla Yusalli Tasliyatan is basically, as we know, uh, is form number two. It's on the pattern of Fa'ala Yufa'ilu Tafailan. And we have Salla uh, Yusalli Tasliyatan. But here we can see that. Tasliyatan has not been used. Here, what has been used? Basically, ismul master has been used. So we know that ismul master, for example, salat, that can also be used as naib anil master, as a deputy of the master. So mawadda'in, as we know that wadda'a, yuwadda'u tawdi'an, is to say farewell. Ma wadda'aka rabbuka wa ma qala, as we have in the Quran. Fahuwa mawadda'un. Uh, so the one who says farewell. So subhanAllah, such a beautiful hadith that whenever we pray, we must pray as if this is our last prayer. Then we have in the Quran, فَلَا تَمِيلُوا كُلَّ الْمَيْلِ So do not incline completely toward one. Now we have kulla here. We can see that it is used as naib anil mastar. So basically, we have learned, like from the beginning of the lesson, we have seen that uh, a master has deputies and it has around eight deputies. And we have learned that uh, Ismail Master, like Wudu'un, Salatun, it can be used as uh, the deputy of the of the master. And similarly, Kulla can be used as the deputy of the master. And then we have Yatlu هذا القارئ تلاوة لا يتلوها غيره. This Qari or the reciter recites in a way like no one can recite like him. So now we have to see that uh, where is Naib al Master? Here we have Ha. As we have learned that there must be Adamir uh, that goes back to the noun. So basically, here we have Tilawatan and we have La Yatluha Ghayruhu. So here Ha is basically used as Naib al Master. Then we have Ayya Kitabatin Taktubu. So ayya is mansub. Why is it mansub? Because it is if it is maf'ul bihi of taktubu. So the sentence will be taktubu ayya kitabatin. The sentence will be like this. Taktabu ayya kitabatin. So taktabu will be fail plus file and ayya will be maf'ul bihi. But we know that uh, it has a requirement. Ayya has a requirement because it's a question word. It should come in the beginning of the sentence. So it is Maf'ul bihi, it is in the beginning of the sentence and that's why it is mansub. That's number one. And number two, we have learned that kullun wa ba'dun wa ayyun, they are used as the deputy of the master. So it will be ayya kitabatin taktubu. What kind of writing are you doing? Or what kind of writing is this? Nahnu naqussu alayka ahsan al qasas. Now we have also learned that uh, the mudaf can be used as a uh, as the, the Naib al Master, as we can see over here. And basically, Qasas, as we can see here, Qasas, in fact. So we have Qasa Yaqusu, and the Master of Yaqusu is Qasas. Okay. We also have Qisas, Qisas with Qaf with Kasra. Does anyone know the difference between Qisas and Qasas? Any idea? Qisas is the plural of Qisatun. Qisa, as we know, is a story. And the plural of Qisatun is what? Qisasun. That is a plural with Kasra. And when it comes with Fatha, Qaf, when it comes with Fatha, then it is the Masdar of Qasa Yaqusu. So uh, look over here. The difference is very minute, but we need to be careful about it. 
that when we have qaf has fatha that means it is the master of to narrate a story qassa yaqussu qissatan so the plural of qissa is qissasun and the plural and, and the master of yaqussu uh, as we can say here, here is qasas so nahnu naqussu alayka ahsan al qasas so we know that uh, when we have the maf'ul bihi and it is used with a special it is used with a mudaf then also it can be used as naibu anil master so here ahsan al qasas basically ahsan is being used as naib anil master وَذْكُرْ اسْمَ رَبِّكَ وَتَبَتَّلْ إِلَيْهِ تَبْتِيلًا Again here we have وَذْكُرْ اسْمَ وَذْكُرْ اسْمَ رَبِّكَ وَتَبَتَّلْ إِلَيْهِ تَبْتِيلًا So here تَبْتِيلًا uh, will be the نائب المصدر and we know that بَتَّلَ يُبَتَّلُ تَبْتِيلًا as we know this is from number two and this is the master over here حَجَّجْتُ عِشْرِينَ حَجَّةً I performed Hajj 20 times. So here, Ishreen is being used as Naib Anil Master, or it is using it is being used as the, the, the Naib of the Master, as we can see over here. Do you deal with your brother like this? Hadihi, as we can see, that Ismul Ishara can also be used as Naibul Master. Qala Shairu, and the poet says, وَقَدْ وَقَدْ يَجْمَعُ اللَّهُ الشَّتِيْتَيْنِ بَعْدَمَا يَظُنَّانِ كُلَّ ظَنِّ أَلَّا تَلَاقِيَا كُلَّا as we can see that it is also used as naib al-mastar and uh, uh, shatitain is basically shatitun is someone who is going to be separated وَقَدْ يَجْمَعُ اللَّهُ and we know that قَدْ basically when it comes with the present tense it gives the meaning of sometimes or it may وَقَدْ يَجْمَعُ اللَّهُ الشَّتِيْتَيْنِ بَعْدَمَا Without a doubt, Allah can gather two things which are separated or which are far, far apart. يَظُنَّانِي كُلَّ ظَنِّي أَلَّا تَلَاقِيَا Even after they thought for sure that they would never be united. That they would never be united. So here we can see that kulla is being used as naib anil master over here. أكمل هذه الجملة سجدت and how many times what are what are we supposed to use over here بمفعول مطلق يدل على العدد so we have to use مفعول مطلق number one it should describe عدد number two النوعي and number three التأكيدي so we have to use it three in three different ways okay we have here سجد يسجد the master is sujudan, and then we have master al adad, the adad or tadad, as we can see for the number, we have sajidatan. So it has how many master do we have over here? Two. Sajada, yes, you do sujudan or sajidatan. This is the real master by itself, and this is master al adad. So the first one will be sajatu sajidataini. I prostrated twice. Yadullu ala al adadi. So now this is number one. Uh, we are talking about adad. So when you say sajad to sajdataini, I prostrated twice. Then an So you say sajad to sajuda khashi'in. I prostrated like a fearful person. So we know that sajuda khashi'in basically, uh, sujuda is being used as mudaf and khashi'in is being used as mudaf ilay. And then the third one should be litta'kid. So you say sajad to sujudan. I prostrated prostrating. That means I prostrated once. So here we are talking about the number, that's uh, the added. And here we are talking about a now. And we know that now can be used in two ways. Either it can be used as mudaf, mudaf ilay, or it can be used as masuf sifa. And then number three, we can see that the, the real master can be used as maful mutlaq, as we can see over here. So we say, sajad tu sujudan, I prostrated, prostrating. هاتي مثالا لكل ما ينوب عن المصدر الواقعي مفعولا مطلقا Now we have to again provide the examples of of the ones that deputize, deputize for the masdar al-mutlaq. So this we have, I think this is for the third time that we are going to do it. First time we did it in the beginning of the, uh, the lesson. In the second lesson we discussed all of them in detail and the third one now we are going to do it 
one once more. So we can see over here that Atabtuhu uh, بعد بعد I punished him. I punished him like a bit of punishment. بعد as we know that means some punishment. So that doesn't mean that I I punished him a lot. So we can see over here that بعد is being used as naib عن المصدر. And then we have to have more examples. فهمت المسألة كل الفهمي. I understood the problem completely. So we can, as we know that Ba'da is used as deputy of the master. Kulla is used as the deputy of the master. And also Ayya is used as the deputy of the master. So we can see Ayya qira'atin taqra'u. What kind of reading are you doing? Or what kind of reading are you going through? So we can see that Ba'da, Kulla wa Ayya can be used as naib anil master. Similarly, for the adad, we say اعتمرتو عشرين عمرة I performed 20 umras, so عشرين للعدد حفظت الدرس جيدا I memorized the lesson very well جيدا is used as an adjective so it was basically حفظت الدرس حفظا جيدا but we have to drop the master itself and only adjective has to be used قبلت الطفلة قبلة I kissed uh, the child once and here we know that Qublatun is basically Ismul Master, which is used for Qabbala Yuqabbalu Taqbilan. Atukrimuni hadha al-ikrama. Do you welcome me or do you uh, honor me like this? So here we can see that do you honor me like this? So here hadha, as we know, is being used as Naibul Master. Yahfidhu hadha al-talibu ad-darsa hifdan la yahfidhuhu ghayruhu. Now we can see that la yahfidhuhu it refers back to the dars, to the lesson. So uh, we can see that Adamir, the pronoun is being used as the deputy of the master. Ishtaraytu as-sa'ata shira'an. Masdarun yulaqihi fil ishtiqaqi. Now shira'an is, we, as we know, that is basically shara yashri shira'an. This is athulathi and this is mazid fihi. And we know that uh, that athulathi can be used as a master for mazid fihi. Aishtu hayatan sa'idatan. I lived a happy life. And here we can see that Hayatan is basically being used as an adjective for Aishatan. And here it is Muradaf. Muradaf means it is a synonym. So synonym can also be used as Naibul Master. So it's once again, we have seen that we have seen that Kulla Bada wa Ayya. And that's number one. Number two, Adad. Number three, Adjective. Number four, Ismul Master. Number five, Ismul Ishara. Number six, uh, ad -Damir. Number seven, Master uh, Yulaqihi Fil Ishtiqaqi, and number eight, Al Al Muradaf, that means the synonyms. So, Alhamdulillah, this is something that we have now, something we have like revised for the third time. So, inshallah, I'm sure it's clear now. Please let me know if you have any questions. Okay. Hati Thalathata Am Thilatin, Lil Master in Naibi, and Fi'lihi. Now we have to provide three examples of must of 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 master being the deputy of the verb, being the deputy of the verb. First, we have seen that the master itself has its own deputies, and how many deputies does it have? Eight deputies it has got. Now here we are being asked that we have to use master as a deputy of the verb, as a deputy of the verb. What does that mean? That means the master will be enough. It will be uh, sufficient and there is no need to use the verb. For example, we say shukran. So there is no need to say ashkuruka shukran. Similarly, we say ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban. So here what happens when we say shukran, when we say ahlan, when we say sahlan, when we say marhaban, all of these are masdar and they are being used as naib an failihi. They are being used as the deputies of the verb. For example, we say mahalan ya rajulu. So mahalan is basically we know that mahala ya mahalu mahalan. So mahalan is being used as the, uh, it's a master and it is being used as a deputy of the verb. Yani amhal ya rajulu. So instead of saying amhal ya rajulu, we are saying mahalan ya rajulu. Similarly, ma'adhiratan ya akhi, ma'adhiratan, adhara ya adhiru ma'adhiratan is to apologize. So ma'adhiratan ya akhi, I apologize, oh my, oh my brother. So here, you don't need to say a'tadhiru ma'adhiratan. Simply ma'adhiratan will be enough. 
And as we discussed, shukran ya ustadu. So it's basically ashkuruka shukran. So there is no need to say ashkuruka. Why? Because the master is being deputized or it is doing the job of the verb. So it says like the verbs, it says, it tells the verb that, for example, there is no need of you and I am enough uh, for, for to do the job of the verb as well. So here master is doing the job of the, of the verb, of the verb itself. And the examples that we have discussed already, for example, we say afwan and similarly mahlan and madiratan, similarly shukran, ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban, all of them, they are masdar and they are doing the job of the verb. There is no need to use the verb anymore. Now, we are done with half of, of the information with the masdar. And that was all about masdar uh, al-mafool al al-mutlaq. Now, there are some other types of masdar that we need to know. There are many other kinds of, or there are many kinds of masdar. So first, the first one that we have learned is what? Al-masdar al-mutlaq. That means the absolute object. And now there are some other types that we can learn over here. The first type we can see over here is, is called masdar al-marrati. As we know that it's clear from the name, uh, which uh, like, denotes how many times the action has taken place. So that's why it's called Mastarul Marrati, how many times the action has taken place. And it has only one wasn as we can see, or pattern over here, which is Fa'latun. So for example, you say Darabtuhu Darbatan, Darbatan ala wazni Fa'latan. I hit him once, so Darbatan. Wa Darabani Darbataini. And he hit me twice. As we know that uh, darbatun is singular and darbatani, darbataini, darbataini is the dual. So darabani, darbataini, and he hit me twice. Tubiya had al kitabu tabaatin. This book was printed several times. So here we can see that tabaatun is basically masdar al marra, and the plural of tabaatun is tabaatun. This is the plural of tabaatun. That is with respect to the verbs that have three root letters, al-thalathi al-majarrad. Something really interesting, something really beautiful, and it also, um, like after doing this, all or some of my thoughts were clear as or clarified as well. And what is that? We have in when we talk about mazid fi, and we know that mazid fi we have learned from tafil ifal up to istafala. So we have learned all the nine bobs of mazid fi. Masdar al mara is formed by add, adding ta marbuta to the original masdar. Something very interesting. So, for example, we have kabbara, yukabbiru, takbiran. Takbiran, right? But we say takbiratul ula, the first uh, takbir, right? So, why do we say takbiratun? So, now we can see that ta marbuta has been added. And this ta marbuta here, when it is added to the masdar itself, then it becomes masdar al marra. So when you say takbiratun, that means saying Allahu Akbar one. Similarly, in the Quran, we have dhakkara yudhakkiru tadkiran. Tadkiran. But we also have in the Quran tadkiratan, right? Tadkiratan, tafilatan, on the pattern of. And similarly, we have salama yusallimu taslim. And when in the end of the prayer we say assalamu alaikum, and then we say taslimatan. So whenever an extra ta is added to the real master, then it becomes master al marra for the mazid fi. So this is something very, very important that we need to know. However, if you have itlalun peeping out and then we have itlalatun, uh, this is something that I have explained several times. And what is that? Uh, I have explained that if a verb ha is ajwaf, or it has a weak letter in the beginning, in the middle of, of the of the verb we have a weak letter for example we have uh, alif and we know that alif is a weak letter then there is always addition of ta marbuta for example adafa yudifu idafatan ashara yushiru isharatan and similarly we have atala yutilu itlalatan so this information is not new to you or to me we know this information already but this information is really new to us as we can see over here, 
that we have, and this is not the case with every masdar. This is how it is used in the, the Arabic. So we have to see like, can we add tamar uh, buta to every uh, masdar? Of course not. So whatever has been used in the, in the Arabic language or in the Quran, inshallah, based on that, when our learning increases, we will come to know that it is being used as masdar al-marra. So we said, نُكَبِّرُ أَرْبَعَ تَكْبِيرَاتٍ فِي الصَّلَاةِ عَلَى الْمَيِّتِ We say Allahu Akbar four times in the funeral prayer. And then you say, أَطَلَلْتُ مِنَ النَّافِذَةِ إِطْلَالَتَيْنِ I looked out from the window twice. So I hope, inshallah, uh, this idea is clear as well. So we have learned about Masdar al-Marra in English. Now we can see what is it in Arabic. ضَرَبْتُهُ ضَرْبَةً I hit him once. Darbatun mithalun li mastar al marrati. So darbatun is the example of mastar al marra. Wa mastar al marrati and mastar al marra. And now we have these columns says that the definition is coming. Huwa ma yuzkaru li biyani adadil fi'li, which is used to describe the number of of the action. Wa yubna, as we know that bana yabni and yubna is the the passive form. Wa yubna min al fi'li thulathi al majaridi ala wazni fi'latin. And from the verbs that have three root letters, it is it is made on the pattern of fa'la. Bifathi al fa'i that fa'al kalima has fatha as we can see over here. Was sukun al was sukun and ain al kalima is sakin. So we can see over here that uh, the first letter has fatha and the second letter is sakin. Nahwu, for example, darabtuhu darbatan I hit him once. Wa darbataini and I hit him twice. وضرباتين and several times. وتلحق أتاو بمصدر الفعل غير ثلاثي المجردي. And لحق يلحق is to to join. And تلحق is the passive. وتلحق أتاو بمصدر الفعل and غير ثلاثي المجردي. And if the verb has is غير ثلاثي المجرد. And if it is مزيد في, then an additional تا is added to that. For example, كبرة يكبر تكبيرا. But here, what do we have? Takbiratan. So this is additional ta that has been added to the master. Kabbara yu kabbiru takbiran and takbiratan. No kabbiru arba takbiratan fi salati ala al We pray for rakaas for the, or for, in fact, sorry, for takbirat, uh, for the per, for the prayer of the dead. Wa idha kana bina'u al-mastar al-asli bitta'i dhukira ba'dahu ma yadulu ala al-adadi. And why that kind of binal master al asli bit ta'i? What if the real master ends with ta marbuta? For example, here, rahmatun rahima yarhamu in rahmatan. Now we can see that it ends with ta marbuta already. So what should we do now? So what we have to do now, we have to add an adjective after that. That's the, the, the thing that we have to do. Rahimtuhu rahmatan wahidatan. So now we can see over here that rahmatan is the master. And we have to add adjective to that, as we can see over here. Similarly, أقمتو إقامة واحدة I established the prayer only once. So إقامة واحدة and ترجمت الكتاب ترجمة واحدة I translated the book only once. So the only th the, the rule that we need to remember over here is, if the master already ends with the marbuta. And then it is necessary that we have to add adjective adjective to that, as we can see over here. The Rahmatan Wahidatan, Wa Iqamatan Wahidatan, and Tarjamatan Wahidatan. And that's what I mentioned in the previous slide that uh, if a verb is Ajwaf, and this is for the verbs that are Mazid Fi. Mazid Fi. So if if it is Ajwaf, then what happens? The Master takes an extra Tamar Buta. Master takes what? Extra Tamar Buta. Aqama Yaqimu Iqamatan. أضافة يضيف إضافة and similarly أشارة يشير إشارة and there are many examples and many examples that we have discussed over here and there are many examples of this in the Quran as well. صغ مصدر المرة من الأفعال الآتية صاغ يصيغ صيغة and this is صغ is fill الأمر on the pattern of قل for example we say قال يقول and Saga Yasuhu Sigatan and Sugh is basically fail al Amr. What is this fail al Amr? On the pattern of what? For example, we say Qul. So it is similar to that as we can see over here. So Waqafa 
and masdar al marra as we as we know that it's on the pattern of fa'latun so it will be waqfatun break waqfatun akala and then we have aklatun food jalasa and then we have jalsatun sitting sallama and then we have taslimatun um, to say assalamu alaikum or to say uh, to hand over something to someone if it comes with the preposition of ila so sallama and the masdar that we can see masdar al marra over here is what taslimatun similarly we have seen kabbara and then we have seen takbiratun so I'm, I'm sure inshallah this information is really helpful and it's clarifying lots of doubts that we might have while we are learning arabic language we are done with masdar al marra and now we are talking about masdar al hayya another kind of masdar uh, this is called the masdar of manner as we can see over here hayyatun uh, it is on the pattern of fi'latun. So what's the difference over here? That one was fi'latun with fa al kalima with with fatha. And here we have fa al kalima with kasra, fi'latun. For example, we have jilsatun, manner of sitting, mishiatun, manner of walking. We say la tamshi, mishiatun nisa, don't walk like women. Ijlis jilsata talib ilmin. We have seen this example in the in the lesson as well sit as students sit and now we can see over here that the first letter has uh, fatha in masdar al marra but when we talk about masdar al hiya then the first letter has kasra as we can see over here and it is not from it is not formed from mazid abwab we don't make it from mazid fi we only make it from athalathi al mujarrad we have seen that masdar al marra can be made from both Athalati al Mujarrad, and we can also make it from Mazid fi. But we can see over here that Masdar al Hayya is only made from the verbs that have three root letters. Jalasa, and similarly, we have Mashayamshi, Mishiatan. Ijlis, Jilsata, Talibi Ilmin, Jilsatun Mithalu, Le Masdar al Hayati, Masdar al Hayya. So, as we have seen, that it is called the the master of manner, ma yudkaru li dalalati ala hiyat al fi'li wa sifatihi, which is basically used to describe the manner of the verb or its adjective. Wa yusahu ala wazli fi'latin, and it is made on the pattern of fi'latun. Saga, as I said, saga yasuhu, and yusahu is basically passive on the pattern of yuqalu. On the pattern of what? Yuqalu. Qala yaqulu, qila yuqalu. So these are the things that we have learned in, in book number two, inshallah, I'm sure you remember them. So this is also passive. Bikasrin um, fasukunin. So what does it have? It has kasra and then after that it has sukun as we can see over here, it has kasra. And after that, what do we have? We have sukun over here. Jilsatun min jalasa. So what do we make from jalasa? We make jilsatun. Fit tanzili in the Quran. So we can see over here, Aisha, as we can see here, is basically on the pattern of, on the pattern of Jilsatun, uh, or on the pattern of Fairlatun, in fact, sorry. So on the pattern of Fairlatun, so it will be Aishatun. So the first letter has Kasra, and the second one is Sakin. في الحديث فإذا قتلتم فأحسن القتلة and when you kill kill in the best possible manner and of course it refers to القصاص القصاص uh, when a person kills someone and he is also being killed uh, so of course the purpose of learning Arabic language is also to make sure that we do not take anything out of the context for example this especially when it comes to hadith it is very, very important that we should know the context, like in what context that hadith has been narrated. And we can't just go by the superficial meaning and we say, oh, it says, and whenever you kill, kill in the best possible manner. No, it's not like that. It's basically for qasas. And it is only when it is, when the, the rules of the sharia are being implemented. And that's only by the government. Uh, similarly, after if you follow the, the verse, if you follow the sorry hadith, then it says, وَإِذَا ذَبَحْتُمْ فَأَحْسِنُوا الذِّبْحَةَ And it says, if you slaughter, 
then slaughter in the best possible manner. So, so this is basically, uh, we are being taught our religion, like what is the best possible way to do the things. And here it is that when a person is being killed for the purpose of qasas, then he must be killed in the best possible manner. Waminal amthali, and then we have uh, the sayings, and from the saying, what do we have? Akhashafan vasu akilatin. So kilatin, where does it come from? Basically, we have kala yakilu kailan wakilatan. Kala yakilu kailan wakilatan. Waida kaluhum awazanuhum yuxerun, as we have in the Quran. So kala yakilu is to measure, and it has how many master two. Kailan wakilatan. A khashafan. So what is khashafan? It is basically inferior dates. So khashaf is inferior date. A khashafan wasu'a kilatin. So two things are over here. Number one, al khashafu arda ut tamari. Radiyun, the word radiyun as we know something inferior. And from there we have afad al tafdil, arda u tamari. That means the inferior type of dates. Uh, uh, that is that is and then we have yudrabu hadal mathalu liman yajma'u khaslataini and this example is narrated for the person who has two attributes yajma'u khaslataini makruhataini who has two bad attitude uh, attributes and what are those two attributes number 1 he is giving the date that is the worst kind of date and number 2 what he is doing when he is measuring, he is measuring it in the worst possible manner. So taqdeer al-kalami, the real meaning will be atabi'u hashafan, that you you sell dates and the dates that are inferior ones. But taqilu su akilatin, and also what you do, when you measure it, you measure it in the worst possible manner. So these are the examples uh, that we have from the sayings. And then we have waqala shairu and the, the poet says, Mashayna Mishyatul Laythi. Mishyatun, as we have that Mashayamshi, Mishyatun. So Alayth, as we can see, Al Asadu, and the plural is plural is Luyuthun, that will basically basically means uh, the lion. Mashayna Mishyatul Laythi, we walked like a lion. Ghada walaythu ghadbanu. Ghada yagdu is to, to, to do something early in the morning. Ghada walaythu ghadbanu. So we walked like an angry lion who sets forth early on his hunt for prey. So how did we how did we walk? How did we go out? We went out like an angry lion. And why the angry lion is angry? Because it's early in the morning and he is really hungry and he is looking for the food. So basically our focus over here is on Masdar uh, al-Hayya. And what is that Masdar al-Hayya? It's on the pattern of Mif'alun, and here we have Mishyatun. Mashayna, Mishyat al Gada wal Laythu, Ghadbanu. Sugh, Masdar al Hayati, Minal Af'al al Atiyati. So now what we have to do, we have to make Masdar al Hayya from the following verbs. Okay, so the first one, who will make the first one? We have Asha, Yaishu, and it will be Aishatun, right? Aishatun Radiya. Then we have Mata Yamutu and it will be Mitatun. Mitatun. Walaysa Maitatun. Maitatun is different and Mitatun is different. Then we have Jalasa Yajlisu and then we have Jilsatun. And then we have Qatala Yaqtulu. And today we have learned from the Hadith it is Qitlatun. Qitlatun as we can see over here. La Yubna Masdarul Hayati min Ghairi Thalathi al Majarrad. And uh, the master of manner is not made from the verbs that are not mazid fi. So what does that mean? That the verb should have only three root letters. And if it, if it does not consist of three root letters, that means we cannot make masdar al hayya from that. So I believe inshallah, um, this is enough for today. Uh, yes, inshallah. And uh, when we meet again in the next lesson, uh, we will complete our lesson. Then we will look at some of the examples from the Quran, inshallah. And also we will also have a look at the vocabulary of the lesson. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.